All right, so it's March of a new year, and that means every EQ TLP player is asking the same question right now. What is the next TLP going to be? Well, we just got our first bits of information. Fading of the EverQuest show recently got to speak with Jay Chan about the topic. So let's go ahead and watch the clip and we'll talk about it. Releases. Um, let's start with the EQ TLP. We're, we're approaching, uh, there's a lot of excitement. I mean, the TLP base is very excited about what's to come. Uh, do you have any ideas on where you're headed for the TLPs for this year? It's a, it's a big year, and I think players may be expecting something big. What, what do you have in mind? Well, for EQ, we're planning on bringing back our most popular TLP rule sets. All right, so right off the bat, we got a couple things being thrown around. Fading said that players are expecting this to be a big year, and I think that he's right. Two reasons. One, it's the 25th anniversary of EverQuest. Two, Mischief is getting really long in the tooth at this point. I think it's time to move those Mischief players onto a new TLP server. So I think that we're anticipating this server to have a big draw. Jchan just said the word rule sets, plural. That means two. Are we talking two different server rule sets uh, simultaneously? I, it's hard for me to believe this, but let's keep listening. Oh. Um, I'll probably leave that there with okay. details, but certainly I can say that we get it. Some people were not there for when these rule sets launched, and this is a chance for them to really experience it at launch and really feel the excitement and the energy in the air of being there at the beginning of these rule sets. All right, she just said the word rule sets like three times. So if she's truly meaning two servers, it's really hard for me to imagine this being the case because when she says the most popular rule sets, we already know by definition, at least one of these servers has to be a Mischief 2.0. Maybe you have some modifications. If you release anything alongside a Mischief server, that server is dead on arrival. There's no possible way that it could not be. I have to believe that they know that. So I don't know, let's look at what what could the second server possibly be? Let's let's look at some data. So we've got a chart here um, that was actually data leaked from the Brit Canuck. I'll le leave the link to this video in the description below as well. So we've got data from summer of 22. We see Mischief is very strong population wise, despite having a TLP just launch on top of it, which is Yelenak. Yelenak obviously doing well at this time. Viniki started fairly strong, but it died off very quickly. And Eridun was in DODH at this point is just kind of trucking along. So what do we know here? We know that Yelenak is now on like the low population level. Uh, Mischief is still high today. Eridun, Vaniki, all dead on the low end of the population if you go look at their website. And then we also have the new server, which is Oakwind, um, that's sitting at medium. So, you know, what can we glean from this? Mischief is the most popular server ever, we know that. What is the second most popular server? None of these other servers really have deviated a whole much from the in the rule set department. They're all basically just Finny clones with AOCs. I, I don't know what they're gonna do with the second server. Like, there's no way they think Finiki should be redone. All I can assume is that if she's actually meaning a second rule set, that it's just going to be basically like a yellow neck clone. But to me, that is death for that server. That server will may as well have not even existed because Everyone will be playing on the Mischief server. My only other guess is what if she means rule sets, two multiple rule sets, but not multiple servers, meaning maybe they combine a few of the concepts from different servers onto one. So mischief, you know, let's say all the mischief loot rules, basically give or take, and maybe they, they're gonna add, they're, they're referencing adding in like Oakwind first to engage or like early true box relaxation that I think uh, mischief didn't get, you know, some maybe some rule set pieces like that get layered on top of mischief. And that's what she means when she says rule sets, because this is going to be without question the most popular server in EverQuest history it's good to me I think it's going to blow Mischief 1.0 out of the water they're at least going to need two servers for this maybe three because they already needed two before with Mischief and Thornblade which brings us to the second point of or the second question what are they going to do about the overflow situation because that second overflow second or third over overflow server is basically doomed to fail or at least be significantly less popular than the 
like the starting server mission you know mischief thornblade is an example rage fire and uh, lockjaw is an example that second server lockjaw in this case and thornblade are, are always just dead in comparison to the main server all right so let's talk about some timing We've got some data here from alakazam it shows all of the release dates and then i went and dug up all of the announcement dates from their website so starting in 2017 with agnar they started releasing tops in May. They had Cornav and Mangler that released in March, but since then everything has released at the end of May and in particular they've always released before Memorial Day. So they used to always release their servers on Wednesdays, now they do releases on Thursdays. We go look at a calendar and we look at the announcement dates. We are expecting that it will most likely be on April 22nd when they announce this thing. They almost always do it on a Monday or a Tuesday. It could be the week before, but but I would say most likely it's going to be this April 22nd. It's always in the like last or second to last week of April. So I would expect that on the 22nd of April. Now, if we look at the release dates, I think this is like a 99% probability that they're going to launch this server on May 23rd. It's always this week before Memorial Day, and it used to be on Wednesdays. Now it's going to be on a Thursday. Almost certainly it's going to be on the 23rd of May. So that's what I'm expecting for the 2024 TLP. I'm expecting this thing to be some sort of mischief server. I really don't want to believe that they're going to release a second rule set alongside mischief. I think surely they know that server is going to be dead if they release it. I'm going to go ahead and say they're going to release two mischief servers, at least two mischief servers on May 23rd, 2024. I think it's going to be the most popular server that they've ever released. I'll leave a link in the description below to the fading video as well as the Brit Canuck video that I referenced in my video. What do you guys think the next TLP is going to be? Do you think my dates are accurate? And let me know if you're going to be playing on the new server. Hope to see you there.